All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and pets alike. Today, I got a special guest, the Ghost Who's main initiator, the support player, the man himself, Ghost of UA. How are you doing, UA? I'm doing good, Dave. How are you guys doing? Doing fantastic. Now, obviously, I've been a fan for Gosu for a long time, and I know you have been playing with Gosu for a while. So why don't you go ahead and give our viewers a little bit of a, a self-introduction, like who are you, uh, you know, how, how do you know Gosu, all that kind of stuff. Go ahead. Okay, okay. So I am a Gosu Yue. Um, I've been the roamer for Gosu for a little bit over a month. You know, I played for different teams. Um, I participated in most of the tournaments in North America, uh, just always in a different team. And, uh, you know, recently I found my home in Gosu. So that's pretty much where we're heading to. And, uh, you know, just keep supporting us, keep supporting me. Yeah, because I think last tournament you played for a Legacy, Team Legacy, am I correct? Uh, no, so um, the last NACT I played for Rebirth, Anarchy. Yeah, Anarchy, and, uh, Anarchy, Anarchy. We right. did hit top eight, and um, we lost against uh, TSU. And yeah. the, the, the previous M3, we went top 16 and lost to BTK. So <laughs> we've been here. All, all strong opponents, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you I have a question. So outside of playing games, a lot of viewers are interested to know, like, you know, what are the players like, the competitive players in North America region? Because you told me you're working and you're working full time. Like, tell us a little bit about your personal life. Like, how do you balance the schedule? Uh, when do you usually play Mobile Legends? And how do you even find the game? Okay, so like, probably like before COVID, I was a high school teacher, high school PE teacher. And I would wow. coach tennis. So um, I played with a lot of uh, like high schoolers, even middle schoolers, and I would coach them and like mentor them. Um, and now I just work at Chipotle. Um, I'm sure uh, probably most of you guys know what that is. Uh, yeah. I just work morning shifts. I go in there, I prep, I cut onions, I cut bell, I cut bell peppers, I cut jalapenos. <laughs> oh and my god! That, you know, I serve to the customers, and then um, I've told them, you know. At nighttime, I am grinding, I am working, um, you know, as a squad member and team Gosu, and I'm just committed, you know, to put that time in and, you know, to really become one of the best players in, the, in our server. Dude, so, uh, Chipotle is my favorite food. One of the favorite <laughs> food. Yeah. It's a good balance. Uh, there's it, the guac, you know. Yeah, it's healthy food. It's, look, it's delicious, right amount. Oh my God, you're the guy behind it. You're the chef. Jesus. Yep. All no, right, dude. About it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so so comparing to, is there any similarity? Because you you also being a teacher, like, is there any similarities like between uh, working a team environment uh, to like what you're doing now in real life, or working in Chipotle or working as a PE teacher before? Oh yes, for sure. Like, um, one of the main things is communication, and um, it's all about talking. You know, in Mobile Legends, it's about shot calling. Right. You know, and, and, you know, teaching, it's all about, you know, communicating your message to your students or your kids, you know, and it's, it's really hard to talk to people. Right. In terms of like the right way. And uh, I think in North America, one of the best things that I bring is communication is like emotional intelligence, you know, just how to talk to your teammates, what should, what's, what's correct and what's not correct. You know, since we don't really have too many coaches or analysts for each individual team, right. you know, a lot of a lot of players don't really know how to act. You know, they just like <laughs> want to like TT or do all that. But like, I'm really like trying to be very nice, trying to give confidence to my players and my right. team, you know, not gas them up, but like really like hype them and like, you know, make them confident and let them play the best right. that they can ever be. So. So how, how do you stumble upon Team Ghost? Like, do you reach out to Ghost General first, or uh, get the team go some members in Team Ghost reach out to you? Like, what happened? Tell us about it. That's that's a good question. A lot of people ask. Well, for me, um, I think everything there's a timing, and yeah. um, I've really before Team Ghost, I was putting in three, four hours each day. You know, streaming. I had like you know twenty views. No one was watching me. You know, I would get like the chat would move like a little bit each minute, you know, not really too much. And uh, I put in the hours and I just, you know, grinded, you know, and, and you know, kept my head down. And, right. um, you know, Gosu being the famous organization, 
Um, General came out with the clip saying, hey, like, he's going to kick everyone, you know, and that that was why I'm saying, like, it's lucky, you know, not only that you have to be working hard towards the goal, but you really need the like the opportunity. And he presented the opportunity and, you know, tried my best to reach out to him. I reached out to maybe a couple of his staffs, a couple of the people that knew him personally. And uh, I ended up getting a chance to play with him. And uh, of course, I was very nervous. You know, in trio rank, you got a lot of people watching you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just did my best. And uh, eventually, you know, a week, two with playing with him, I was able to get in. I was very lucky, but I think uh, I was very blessed, blessed with the opportunities. So. Oh my God, that is such a great answer. Dude, I've never seen. Um... Uh, what do you call it? make it yourself story like that in Mobile Legends? This is this is so wholesome. <laughs> uh, I have I have a question related to that. Like so so have you always been playing in the support role position? You know how do you find yourself in this position? Just because like is related to your personality because I find you to be a great communicator. And then obviously okay. to play good in this position is actually one of the it requires one of the most mature personalities in the team. So like how like like is is that what happened? Like how what position do you play first or who are some of your favorite characters? Like, you know, tell us more about your personal roles in Mobile Legends. Okay, okay so I used to play Kimmy. Um, that's what like a lot of people know me for. And um, that was probably like two, three years ago. And um, during those days, you know, I was playing a lot of mages, a lot of assassins, marksmen. I was playing the carry role, you know, the fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then I met a couple, you know, great players, you know, I would say uh, best player. Um, yeah. From a team sexy, um, he was one of them. Um, Jaguar. Um, there was a lot of good cores back then, and those two really like helped me realize that hey, like you know, maybe I can help my team in a different position. You know, especially since I like talking a little bit more. You know, I I, I like to call out stuff. You know, I like to communicate, and um, I just slowly switched into kind of like a tank fighter uh, uh. support role. Okay. And um, when I came back from the game, I quit for a little bit. When I came back from the game, they invited me to play support or play tank for like the first tournament team that I ever played on. And um, after that, I pretty much was just able to, you know, constantly improve my hero pool, you know, adjusted when I needed to. So like before it goes to, I played a lot of supports, a lot of Matilda, Raph, especially in tournaments. And um, after Gosu, now I'm playing Grok, Atlas, you know, Lolita, a lot of the set tankers. So, right. you know, it all takes adjusting, but um, I think I found my role. Like, this is one of my best roles for sure. Oh my God. I, and I, I agree. I think the car in Gosu, a lot of the initiation that we've seen from Team Gosu really come from you. Like, when we're, when we're casting the games, we're like, uh, obviously, I don't want to, you know, brag about you, but this is what it is. You know, this okay. is what it is. So I think the, the current synergy you guys have uh, with Floor in the mid lane, uh, and obviously you, you guys provide a lot of room. What I see uh, you would play on this day, I think you're really, really patient. You really wait for Zero to get his farm, you get all the resources, or wait for General to show up before those engage actually happen. So uh, those are really, really nice, because I don't see a lot of tank players to do that. I mean, we, okay, so go ahead. We We still have a lot of room to improve, like, you know, we try, we're trying our best, you know, we're communicating, but we also do make a lot of mistakes. But, you know, that's where, like, after the matches, we come together and we yeah. really, like, figure out what's wrong so we could really improve and push for that next match, you know, and get to that level that we need to when we actually need to perform. So, right, right. Thank you. So, okay, well, my question is, like, what what do you see Team Gosu as the number one thing you guys need to improve on, you guys can work on in order to get to the next level? When I talk to General and uh, Zero Bulls or Verver Humble on, like, where you guys are stri striving for uh, on the top ranking in North America, like, where do you see uh, the teams placing as well, like, in the North America region? Because the region is getting more and more competitive. And then, like, what do you think you guys need to do in order to climb up and maybe eventually represent North America again on the world stage? Okay. Well, you know, in terms of like a team improvement, I really, you know, want to just focus on myself, you know, and maybe my mid laner, yeah. you know, and I think we have a sizable gap between, you know, us and let's say like the top two teams. Right, you know? right. So, and, 
you know, the next two weeks or whatnot is pretty much our time to close as much as we can and really try to push forward and get onto that competitive level, right? So there's definitely a lot of work that we need to do, yeah. even individually as me. You know, as for the team, you know, I'm sure everyone knows what they need to be doing. But, you know, for myself, I know, like, it's still a long way for me to really become that, you know, top, top one, two, three player in uh, the West server. And as for the whole team, um, in terms of the rankings, like, you know, I know there's a lot of good teams, right? right. Um, for sure, the Valley and Ackermans are definitely up there. I can't really say that we're going to be placed the third after that too, <laughs> but you know, we could always dream. We could always <laughs> dream for that position. Oh my goodness. Dude, I think, I think you're again, I think everyone we interviewed from goes so far, it's been really humble because we've seen the matches you guys played uh, against the Valley. And to be honest with a new roster that you guys have, uh, considering that not everyone had the competitive experience like goes to general, a uh, majority of the team goes right now are just passionate players like you who are really really passionate about the region really passionate about north america and then uh and about the game so whereas you look at the valley it's really five players who have all been playing pro before who have all been competing before so they understand a lot of the basics they really got it down but you guys did really well including taking a game with Halker. <laughs> okay, so so that stuff I really gotta talk about. You know, what's with the what's with the Halker pick? You know, is that what happened in there? Like, and then the, like what had happened in the communication, and you guys won with that. So like, tell tell me about that game. I'm really interested. Well, you know, honestly, we felt like our draft was good enough. You know, we were we were kind of losing in the beginning, but we managed to you know push every game very far. You know, I think it was like maybe 19, 20 minutes, most yeah. of those games. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when it came down to the third game, like, you know, we were just battling it for a long time. Um, we had regrets uh, come out and help us draft. So he yeah. was our sixth man in our team. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he really gave us a lot of good pointers, you know, from the outside and allowed our members, you know, me specifically, you know, maybe Jen to just, you know, lay back and let the draft do the draft and, you know, let us just focus on our game and our mood. Right. right? So um, I would say the Hellcrit pick was definitely from regrets and from zero. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it was. Um, let's just say like, you know, I was just, I like the comfort pick. So like, if they say they want to Hellcrit, I'm gonna be like, go for it. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, but it was definitely a shock, and um, it worked out like really amazing. The Hellcare ult, along with the Atlas, like, you know, they they don't know where we're at, they don't know where we're setting, yeah. and you know, it just it worked out, and we definitely stole a game from the Valley, you know. <laughs> Dude, I, I seen this Wombo combo. So I seen how you guys are, how you and your team are zoning when the objectives are low. You know, Helker pop the ultimate, and everybody like in the front, kind of scare everybody away. I seen those executions. You know, it was it was a good game. So so all right. Any anyways, this is gonna be our last question of the interview, and I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, so is there any question that you want to tell the viewers? And by the way, guys, Yue is a streamer and he streams, he makes content. Uh, I think there are a lot of valuable points that this guy provides on his stream. So make sure to go follow him. We'll have the channel link in the description. But yeah, go ahead. Anything that you want to say to your uh, upcoming new followers? Well, thank you, Dave, for the first of all, you know, for hosting this tournament. Thank you for all the staffs, you know, the mods, especially DMing us and figuring out the schedules. I really, really know that, you know, it takes a lot out of you guys to just get us on board, you know, to set a time, you know, thank you to all the team participating. And honestly, thank you to the Gosu fans out there and my fans personally, my Discord server and my couple staffs, like, you know, without you guys, like without you guys supporting, there wouldn't be any of this. So, you know, thank you to everybody that, you know, has came across my path and, you know, helped me out, drop the like, you know, hit up the chat and like, you know, I'll, I'll be streaming a lot more often, you know, and uh, I really do hope we can continue to move on, you know, top six, top four, and, you know, make you guys all proud. That's it. All right. Uh, that is probably be uh, wrap it up for, for us today. <laughs> Thank you, Yue, for the incredible interview. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and again, guys, make sure to go follow Yue with the link in the description. And this is your boy, Ascendant Dave, signing off. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Yes, sir.